Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you use row level security with Power BI embedded? And how do you do it? Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, row level security. Power BI embedded. I get a lot of questions of people going like, I, like, how do I do real level security with Power BI embedded? Is it even possible? Like, what are the steps? And I want to answer that question. Just know that this is going to involve writing some code. So if we're talking Power BI embedded, we're writing some code. That's just the way it is. So let's go through and actually look at what we've got. I'm going to show you the report from Power BI side. Just regular Power BI, and then we're going to head over to Power BI Embedded and look at what that does. So enough of all this talking, let's head over to my machine, take a look. All right, so we've just got regular Power BI, nothing fancy, nothing special. So if we go over to Workspaces, I have a workspace called Row Level Security. And for this example, I'm going to use the dynamic RLS report and data set. This has already been configured. And so if we go look at dynamic RLS, when we go to security, I have the security members for the role that's defined in row level security in the data set. I have that all assigned. Technically with Power BI embedded, this doesn't even matter. Like you don't even need it. We've got salesperson here. And just to show you that this is working, I'm going to test as role and we're going to grab the email address. I'm using dynamic role level security and we're going to use uh, Taj Shan's email. So let's go up here. I'll put his email address in. And I'll hit apply. And then we can see user principal name is returning tshond at guyinacube.com. And then we can see that the data has been filtered for Taj, which is what we expect. This is just regular dynamic row level security. Nothing special, right? So all of this is set up. So now how do we do this from a row level from a Power BI embedded perspective? That's the big question. To do this, row level security is all about the embed token. And if you're not familiar with embed token, really all this is, is that for each piece of content that we want to embed in Power BI, we have to generate an embed token for that given end user. Because from a Power BI embedded, if we're talking about Power BI embedded for your customers or for people external to Power BI, they don't know anything about Power BI and they're not actually signing into Power BI. So you're going through some sort of proxy account whether that's an actual domain user account or what's referred to as a service principal. In my case, I'm going to show you with a service principal because that's just how I use Power BI Embedded. We'll have the authentication token for that proxy account, and then that proxy account generates these embed tokens for each piece of content. So a report, a tile, a dashboard, whatever, an embed token has to be generated. As part of that embed token, RLS is defined inside of that. So let's take a look. All right, so I've got a sample application that you can go and download from GitHub. And I've got two booleans up top. First one is, are we even going to use an embed token? And the second one is, are we going to use row level security? So let me show you what this looks like with a report that's not using, it doesn't have row level security defined, just so you can see that the embed token piece works. Let's go ahead and run that. And we're going to grab a couple of things here. First, we're going to grab the embed URL or the report embed URL. And I'm going to head over to the Power BI embed playground. I'll have a link for that down in the description below. And this is an easy way that you can just go validate, you know, the embed token stuff is working with your own report. So we'll go to try a sample report. I can just replace these items. So let me replace the embed URL with what we got in the application. Put in the report ID. And we'll go back to the application and get the embed token itself that was generated. All right. And when I run this, it should actually produce the report. And the user principal name is going to show this GUID uh, that's there because this is generated based on the, like I said, I'm using a service principal name. So there's no actual end user for uh, for me from a consumer of this report. So this is kind of gobbledygook of sorts, right? Okay. So we know embedding itself is working. So now let's go to a report that's actually got in, uh, RLS actually defined on it. 
which is that report I showed you here, this dynamic RLS report. And so let me go back to our sample application. We'll close this and let me put in the right report ID and data set ID. All right, if we come down, we'll see the embed code itself. And so first off, we're going to see generate the embed token without RLS. And then we've got a section for if we want to use row level security. And really the big thing here is going to be this effective identity. And so we have to apply this to the embed token itself. And here's where we define a given user. We list out what data sets that are part of this. And then we also can define roles that are part of this effective identity. So in this case, we already saw in when I just looked in Power BI that we had a single role on this data set called salesperson. And so I'm adding that role to the effective identity. The other piece of this is I wanna add a username. And so I'm gonna go grab Taja's email and we're gonna put Taja's email in here. And then it's just the regular generate the embed token. And then we're applying the role level security uh, effective identity that we created to the actual generate token API call, right? That's it. Uh, that's, that's really what's different here. So let's see that this works. Let's make sure that we change this to true. Say yes, we want to use RLS. Right. And we'll run it. All right. So first thing we want to do is get our embed URL here. Then we'll get our embed to uh, update our report ID first. And let's get our embed token. And then let's go and run it. All right. So now we're seeing that we're running this report and we're running it as Taj Shand, which is great, right? This is what we want, but wait, there's more. So not only in this case, I'm using that same email address or UPN that you would expect from a normal Power BI perspective. The beauty of role level security with Power BI embedded is it's just a string. You can do whatever you want here, right? So let's go back to illustrate that point. Let's go and let's close our app, let's go back to our sample application. I'm going to replace Tishan, the user with a string that I used for another employee, Amy Treffle. And so let's put that in and just to prove that it's just a string and it doesn't matter what you put here. Insane amazing, right? So this, whatever you put into this value is what's going to be returned by that user principal name function. And that value needs to match whatever's in your table if you're doing uh, the table within your model if you're doing dynamic role level security. And so in this case, in my user table, as part of this, I actually have the the user name listed as insane amazing. So let's go ahead and see if this actually works. I've already got everything else, so I'm just going to copy my embed token. And we'll go back to our playground. Now let's actually refresh the page because we don't want it to be cached. And we'll go to try sample again. Let's put in the embed token. We'll grab report embed URL again and we'll grab our report ID and let's see if it says Amy Treffle this time bam and look at that user principal name says insane amazing so it's just a string and it's just whatever you're passing into that item that's bananas right so you can absolutely use row level security with power bi embedded and you just need to make sure that that effective identity is correct you can supply a username, you can supply roles as part of that and put that into the embed token and it just works, assuming that you've configured your data set for role level security. Also, if you want to learn more just about role level security in general, it doesn't necessarily go through the Power BI embedded piece. We've got a course for you that will help you in that journey. So you can check out the link down in the description below as well and begin that journey for learning more about role level security. I don't want to hand this off to you. What do you guys think? Was that bananas? Or do you have any other questions about role level security with Power BI embedded? If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.